because, um, well, that's assuming at least that there's no phase two for Half White, versus just the the Painting Guardians being the the only trouble. Also, there's one ring I gotta change back to. <laughs> Nick, that's funny, man. <laughs> Can you parry him? Uh, you might be able to, yeah. The problem is if he's gonna shoot the arrow point blank and he's gonna take 60% of your health, is it worth trying to set up for a parry if most of the time he's not even actually attacking with a weapon, right? Like, he will, but he'll only do that once it's safe to, so it's kind of like the priority is the magic. And he's got other magic protecting him when he's casting the main magic, too, so it's kind of like a... A, a tough situation to actually, like, hit him in the first place, even just normally. So pairing usually only works for me when it's like, okay, I could de I could definitely find some more room to hit the, the dude normally. Like, it's not like there's uh, no time, right? See, like, and he's also got poise, too. Which means that when I attack, even if I time it right, I get punished still because he doesn't get staggered by my attack. So I can't hit him without getting hit back sometimes, if not all the time. That's another issue. Okay, there's a stagger, so jump attack will work. Just gotta hit with like a heavier attack, but that's also slower, so I have to time that really well, like almost perfect. Good. So he even has hyper armor on staggerable attacks, if the angle or the timing is weird. So if he roll recovers or he like input reads what I do and then he recovers from the roll, he doesn't get staggered out of the jump attack, unless there's only like a partial hit.
So I actually have to hope that goes over my head if he roll recovers. Unless I can punish him with like a running attack sooner and then like try to evade the next one. Could be possible too. It's a little dangerous though. I'm gonna play this really slow because I have a thing on healing me a little bit, so we're gonna wait till that's full. Or like close, so I can survive at least. Also, Assumption Boltron, thank you so much for the uh the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your modes, man. Welcome. Is this what Half Light normally looks like? No, he doesn't. Half Light Arrow of the Church, yeah. <laughs> I played Mortal Shell. Yep, there's a full playthrough on uh, my YouTube. I also ran some tournaments for it too. Or I practiced quite a bit for a tournament, and then I think we did uh, multiple rounds of it. So did some runs on it too. Uh, Jack, what's up, dude? Welcome back. Jack J Owens, or is it Jowins? The mystery. It'd be funny if you could use uh, that spell that makes magic basically like kind of useless. I forget what it's called again. Um, what's the name of it? It basically stops magic. Wonder if that would work. This fight seems annoying. It is a little annoying, I'll be honest. It's kind of funny actually. It's a weird way to make it more challenging, but it, it's simple though. And it looks cool. It's not even really the concept though, it's just the way it's calibrated. It's calibrated very aggressively. The AI. Oh wait, you know what? I think I could use number, can I? I can, yes. Nice. Okay, that helps a lot more. That definitely helps. Let's try a bit of a different strategy here. Yeah, that works. Okay. I think that's the only actual guaranteed way. Because the stagger, it's like so much of a commitment that you end up getting hit still sometimes. do we have here? Firebombs. Okay, input reads the firebombs too. Nice. Uh, I could try 
attempting to cast a spell as soon as he rolls, targeting him and see if it works, but that's a pretty big risk, though. We'll have to see. Oh, got it. <laughs> okay, maybe not now. Maybe we'll have to wait. What about a magic resistant shield? Uh, that might actually work. You are correct. There is one shield we have. Oh, we don't actually have it. Sorry. I was wrong. I don't have a magic resistant shield. But there's one in the game, though. The lock shield, uh, I could I could probably... I, I think I can unlock it if I use the lost souls, but then I can't get the wheel. So... Do they want the Logarius wheel? So I'm gonna wait till my health goes back up for a while now. <laughs> I guess we could just sit and chill. Never heard this song all the way through until now. Some of the music gets pretty cool if you let it uh, play a bit. Is this the most challenging boss you fought in this mod? No, definitely not. It's like the least accessible though. Like just from a design standpoint. Like unless of course, like something uh, such as the lock shield would actually help, then you'd have to have probably played it and then went back and tried to re-strategize with that. But I don't think we would need it. It's just gonna be like not getting hit by too many of the arrows would just be the way to survive because they take a lot of health, right? So if it's a one shot at half health, then we just need to be careful. Hmm. Renaus didn't even do anything there. I wonder if, like, if I threw this, it would make him input read automatically. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there is, like, there is another way. Yeah, that makes him run. Okay. So if we have to do this again, we'll try using those for the early fight. Just discovered the che uh, cheese, the cheesiest boss wreck. Oh man, I wish.
Does he still target from across the entire arena? He does, dude. That's actually wild, dude. So his range on targeting you is like across the... It's like much longer than the normal amount of range that they have. This is some really interesting programming we got here. I don't know what to say about this. Nice, GG. 
Whew. Kirk hammer, nice dude. I love the Kirk hammer. And we could actually use it too. Does it transform? Okay, I don't think it transforms. It has an L1 attack though. That's pretty cool. No phase two, yeah, thank God. 